guys, how are you? So, excuse my voice, lately I have been a little bit sick. Um, um, I'm very happy to be here, it's been a while. Um, I usually get through periods of time where I record, 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 and lately we've been working really hard on to bring in more items and more videos and more um, new guests. So without further say, make sure you subscribe to the channel, click on the notification button to stay notified, and then also make sure you like the video. If you don't like it, comment down below why. Um, today we're gonna be talking about the Escalator Resilience Lift. That's the old version. The new one is called Resilience Multi-Effect Eye Cream. It's a 0.5 ounces and it retails for $68. Now you're gonna say this one doesn't really look like it. It's because this is a um, sample that I got on a gift with purchase. So it does look like this. It does has a very soft scent to it. Mm. Earlier last week I heard uh, one of the ladies by Estee Lauder, they were saying that, you know, Estee Lauder used to believe that if you, um, if you were to put uh, a little bit of scent or fragrances, more luxurious, uh, women would feel more attracted to applying their uh, nighttime routine or daytime routine. I don't know. I'm not sure 100% how true that is, but I'm not a big fan of the scents. Um, this scent wasn't really strong. I think uh, scents by Lancome, they are a little bit stronger for me. But this one overall is very soft. So moving forward, this one it's a very creamy consistency. Um, it's a like I said, it retails for sixty eight dollars. It's a little bit pricey for a night cream. Um, it is nourishing, firming, and it helps you mainly because it ha the difference from the new resilience multi effect from the resilience lift is that the multi effect has more peptides and it has more of a different. Um, a different formula that will target more anti-aging benefits, if that makes any sense. Now, um, I just put it on my nighttime routine and I don't see any like brighter or uneven skin tone in my eyes. Actually, for the last couple of weeks, I feel like my under eye area has been dropping out a little bit. Um, to me, this is a little bit nourishing. It does. It helps me with, with fine lines of wrinkles. It says that it helps you with dark circles. It did, I didn't see anything of that. Um, it says puffiness. I don't have a lot of congestion in, under my eyes. And it also says it helps you improve the collagen. Um, overall, I would say this is a nice eye cream to start off. Uh, this is a pink one again. Again, I'm probably going to put it right here. But um, overall, I'm not a big fan. I think uh, Estee Lauder has better eye creams. And this is just very creamy. It's very hydrating. Kind of reminds me a little bit of the uh, All About Eyes by um, Clinique. But I wouldn't spend that $68. If you ask me, I don't recommend it. I feel like it's a little bit pricier up there. Um, I think... Uh, you can get other dupes with Clinique, um, and they would do kind of the same thing like the Clinique Eye Treatment, which I've made videos before. So I'm just being honest in here. I hope you guys like this video. If you guys don't, don't like it, you know, don't think and don't follow everything I say. This may be the right formula for you for what you're looking for, improving the collagen and preventative. To me, it's not. I feel like I need something different. So I may try something different. I'm currently gonna try another one by them. So um, it just pick and choose your bottles. This is not the one I want for my skincare routine. This may be yours. Um, so you guys let me know if you guys wanna try it or you tried it already and you liked it. Let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about this one. And I will see you guys soon. Hope you guys are doing great and enjoying the springtime. Bye. <laughs>